Hello YouTube and welcome to my fifth video in my CorelDRAW X8 training series. On the last video, video four, we forgot to take a look at Intersect, so we're going to add it to video number five. And we're also going to look at uh, the Zoom tool and we're also going to look at SmartFill. SmartFill is one of the most amazing tools. I use it all the time and um, if you can learn how to use it, you will see that it's fantastic for creating new shapes from other objects. Anyways, the first thing we're going to do is open up the object manager so we can see what we're doing. So I will go down to window and over to dockers and click on object manager so we can see what we have. All right, so first we'll talk about the zoom tool. The zoom tool is located um, on the toolbar, the fourth one down. It's the command key is Z. It's not a very, uh, has, it doesn't have a lot of functions to it. You can see that when you click on it, it opens up uh, the zoom in. I can plus, I can minus. I can do things like a zoom to page width, width, sorry, excuse me, which will zoom to there or page height. Um, and I can also use my mouse wheel to scroll in and out when I'm on the tool. Um, you'll notice there's a little drop down item on the zoom tool and that takes us to the pan tool and the pan tool you can click and hold and pan around the screen. So it is useful. I prefer just to use my, my scroll wheel to zoom around. Um, I don't really use the zoom tool or the pan tool very often, but uh, it is there if you want to use it. You can also go to the little box here and make it uh, to page. You can choose uh, an option or a percentage that you want. So those are the options with the zoom tool. All right, intersect tool from last time. We're going to create uh, two objects. Let's make um, two rectangles. In the intersect tool, when I select both objects by drawing a marquee around, you can see that the intersect tool, it says it creates an object from the area where two or more objects overlap. So we have two objects, this uh, rectangle up here and this rectangle here, and the intersect tool will create a new shape from this area here. So if I select both of those and I collect uh, sorry, click intersect, you can see that it makes a new shape. And if I change the color to say yellow, I can pull it out and we have a new shape. So it's a very quick way of making an, a shape from another shape. So if you would do with a circle, we can cross over, go to the uh, pick tool, select both objects. Um, this is selected and this uh, oval, so we have the rectangle and the oval. When I choose intersect, it makes a new shape in the middle, which is kind of like a part pie shape. I can turn it to, to red. So that's intersect. It's not a, a huge tool, but it does help make shapes. You can certainly select items, uh, intersect them, and create new shapes in the middle of other objects. The f the um, Smart Fill tool is very similar to the Intersect tool, but it has a lot more functionality, I find. Uh, the Smart tool is the uh, sixth icon down here, and it basically allows you to fill objects with color. So you can see when I click it, I have some fill options. I can specify that I want to have a black fill and no outline. And if I wanted an outline and a fill, I would just choose the options up here. And what it does is when you click Smart Fill and you hover over an area, and I click, it will fill in the area with these parameters up here, the black fill and no outline. And you can see I've created a new shape and it still keeps my old shape there. So this is handy. It's kind of like the intersect tool, but for example, say I wanted this interior shape. Intersect um, would only create this shape or this shape. It won't actually select all three and make this shape. Um, so Smart Fill takes care of that. So I click Smart Fill, I click in the middle, and I click my Pick Tool, and I have another useful shape. So you can create all sorts of interesting things um, with the Smart Fill tool. Uh, what I'll do is I'll hold Control, I'll make a perfect square, and then I'll hold uh, the oval and make a perfect oval. I'll drop the oval into the middle. I'll hold the left mouse button, move it, and I'll click on the right mouse button while holding to duplicate. And I'll make four of these and click. And you can see when I'll smart fill the middle of this. And I've got this interesting looking shape. So it's very quick and easy to make shapes based on other shapes with the intersect tool and especially with the smart fill tool. Another thing I can do with smart fill is if you import a large clip art item, um, you can individually select pieces of that. And I'm sure I'll show you that in a later video. But for now, um, smart fill is amazing. Um, you can even do stuff like, you know, this R, this little inside of the R and the A in CorelDRAW. I can take my Smart Fill and click, and I can make all of these awesome shapes by filling in other uh, objects. So very powerful tool. I'll uh, give this outlines. As you can see, I can see I've got a, an object here. If I move this down, actually, you can see I've got uh, a lot of objects to choose from. I can choose to make that an object, this an object, 
and you can see there's really it's really handy to create new objects based on existing objects. That's the Smart Fill tool. Anyways, it's kind of a short video, this one, but I wanted to make sure we showed you the Intersect, the Zoom, and the Smart Fill. We'll see you on video number six. Thanks for watching, and if you like it, click like. If you like it, click like.